What's up, everybody? This is Tanner Cherry from The Rogue's Passage. Normally, we would have a gameplay release on this Sunday, but we are in the middle of moving house, which actually means we're kind of moving into a bigger studio, which is sweet. Um, but right now, we're, we're just uh, we're going to throw something out in the interim uh, to satisfy the viewers while we pack up and rip apart this studio and create something new and exciting. Um, Brady and I, uh, a couple weeks ago, we ripped open a box of Commander Legends on stream and uh, hung out with chat, and I wanted to see if I could pull a Jeweled Lotus, so uh, I hope you enjoy this episode, see if I find what I was looking for. I mean, I definitely got some value. I'm going to throw a bit of video in here of our current studio, just I guess as like a behind the scenes thing, just see what we've been working with. It's just a little room down in my basement. It's been a great place to start this channel. We've been recording stuff for about a year. We've been working really hard down here and I'm really excited about a new studio and like a, a whole new blank canvas to whatever we're going to do in the future. So uh, stick with us for this week. Uh, enjoy the box break. This was a nice casual hangout where we popped a bottle of Prosecco and ripped open some cards, which is, I mean, what's better in Magic the Gathering than opening booster packs? So I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, we'll see you back real soon with a fresh studio, which, I mean, I've got some great ideas. We'll see what, what transpires, what, what comes of this. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Later. What's up, guys? Rogue's Passage. I'm Tanner Cherry. And I'm Brady McPie. Yeah, today we're uh, we're doing a unique piece of content. For us, I guess, we haven't really done many box breaks before. We haven't done but any. <laughs> we haven't done any. Yeah, this is... I've, I've had, like, boxes, like, draft boxes rotting in my cabinet for years because I want to draft them. And the pandemic slowed that down quite a bit. But also, I... We started doing all this content. It's, it's tough to make, like, a draft episode out of the gameplay stuff. So we're going to do it. I am gonna draft this box, but I've got greedy. I wanna rip it open. I'm literally, I'm gonna cut open the packs and I'm gonna see what's inside. All I just wanna, card. yeah, I just card. wanna know if the Lotus <laughs> has been just sitting in my cabinet this whole time. Well, straight up, no, I gotta, so in the spirit of that now, our brother Brando would say it is in there. So we're gonna celebrate early. I did pick up something for the occasion. A little bit of the bubbly. Just a little bit. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Yes, yeah. it's a good vintage. What year is this? Yeah. Italian sparkling wine? <laughs> yes. It's uh, probably this year. <laughs> it's, yeah. It costs $15. I, I'm yeah. Not, yeah. In in the spirit of our, our boy Brando, we're going to celebrate early, which... Oh, man. I sacrificed a deck box for this, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the packs open, and I know it's not like whatever. Just get over it. I'm gonna cut the packs open. I want to see if I got a lotus, just to do a box break, make some content. Oh. And uh, then I'm gonna put the cards back in the packs. Oh, and we're gonna draft it. There's yeah, and then there's we're gonna intention. make we're gonna do an episode eventually oh, of uh, drafting this set because I bought a second box because I wanted to draft Commander Legends. And drafting commander sets is actually quite unique. It's um, you like for for instance, you open a pack. I think these are twenty card packs. You open a pack and you choose two cards, and then you pass to your left, and then you choose another two cards out of the the next pack. Like, it's it's really interesting. You you have to draft your commanders. You have to draft commanders that allow you to play the cards you drafted. They're it's it's cool. It's exciting. I kept this box around because I wanted to do that, but. You know what? I just need to know. Well, and I figured I need to know, and uh, really, I felt that you guys needed to know as well. well my brother, to the jeweled lotus that no yes. doubt shall bless our hearts this eve. Yes, yes, yes. I I would like a Jessica's will too. I mean, I just I don't have either of those cards, which is surprising. I guess. I'm really hoping to get a devouch out of this. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I'm simple. Our Necroma. I really want the Necroma that checks for every green abilities and then gives everything plus one plus one for all of them. Mm. Super cool. It's got all partner. Right. 
Can I, uh, Brady? Can I get you to smell this? Um, yes. Smell? Does it smell? Does it smell, does it smell legit? I need your nose right on camera. Does it smell all right? I think it's worthy. Watch this. I'm gonna peel this open. It's gonna be a bunch of Pokemon <laughs> Dude, I cards. Saw the internet for you. <laughs> <laughs> the bullets I take for the boys. Command the draft. This is your instructions on how to do draft. Uh, the Prismatic Piper. It's interesting. It's like kind of like a card that you can draft that you can just choose whatever partner color you want. Um, I don't know if I think in Commander Masters they they developed the system of you can partner any two monocolored commanders you like, the, whether they have partner or not. And that makes drafting quite accessible and, and really, really proper. So, oh, there's one Bow on the floor. Down. First casualty, that's the two boys. Yeah, the, the one that, the floor pack is the floor pack, we're going to make a point of this, so we're going to put this aside. Okay. Uh, that's the, that's where my money are. Well, y'all gambling out there, all one million viewers right now, please get your bets. Okay, so we're looking for Jeweled Lotus. We're looking for uh, Jesk as well. We're looking for what? The, what are the other money cards in there? Uh, the, any of the battle lands that are honestly not that yeah. worth, that are that cash money anymore, but are still really great to get. Um, I would honestly support any because it's now three dollars a pop. Uh, any preordain is a little bit of a win. Three um, bucks for a preordain? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, when we Woo! went to go finish off that uh, my uh, popper deck. Yeah, they're three dollars a pop here in Canada. So. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, wish us luck. I mean, yep. I have to. I have to. Yeah. Or slice. <laughs> slice. I have to do this in a fashion where I can just put the packs back into their original, and then what? Let's uh, let's pull these out, and I guess the rare is going to be at the back. Okay, so I'm just going to leave the pack here. <clears throat> yeah. Surgically apply the condom back onto. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, we're gonna look at the commons. Prosperous Pirates, Blade Brand, Champion, Forceful Denial, Cloak. We're not really too crazy about the commons, right? We got it. These are twenty card packs too. <clears throat> we're gonna get to the uncommons. Oh, there's a you know what? Command Tower is worth props to. Oh, am tower. I just th showing that? No, that's the foil. Okay, this is of course you're seeing amateur box break right here. Humble Defector, I love good card. card. Yeah. Slaughter the Strong. So I that, like that is card too. three uncommons. Let's see what the format is here. We got one, two, three uncommons. There's a Mythic Hellkite Courser. And an Armix, cool. And a Malcolm. All right, so Hellkite Courser. What is this card? When it enters the battlefield, you may put a commander you own from the command zone onto the battlefield. It gains haste and then return it to the command zone at the beginning of the next end step. Hmm. Um, interesting card. Armix. to break that, but I'm not. I can't. It's nothing's coming to mind right away. Armix also incredibly good commander in Popper commander. <laughs> they. PDH. I think they did a lot of Popper players dirty by making it accessible to absolute savagery. That card is honestly a little bit one of my least favorite to go against. I'm not gonna yeah. Lie. Yeah. All right. Now you pair with anyways. This is how we're gonna do this. We're just gonna. Nice and neat. Oh, look at that! You don't need my fingers. Yeah. You don't no. Need my fingers. We're gonna put time. them back in, right? And then we're gonna we're gonna be left with the entire box as it was. Uh, ready to draft, and I don't think that that's really gonna affect the draft in any way. I mean, so, well, if anything, if anyone is coming to the draft, having done their homework, I yeah, watching the, the video, I will just give the game to them. You like, you know, just take the cards. <laughs> um, <laughs> is there a spot that we can put the box? I guess right here. Yeah. Just don't uh, yeah. the danger zone keyboard. The danger zone. Danger zone. Okay, we gotta make sure we don't cut the card. Snip here. I mean, if you want to play dangerous, this this recording, yeah. <laughs> yeah you know, you know what's funny is uh, like the old pay money wubby there, the streamer that I like to watch. He's been getting into magic a lot lately. Little pay money. He does a thing sometimes. His chat will enrage him enough where he'll do, uh, and I'll show you. It's basically this. It's uh, flip and rip. So one you flip, one you rip. One you flip, one you rip. <laughs> I don't think I would ever be comfortable doing that. Yeah, he's a psycho. He is absolutely a psycho. That okay. That's hilarious though. All right, we got spontaneous howling golem. These are all the commons. Foundry inspector is a very good card. Um, we got commons all the way to there. So we had one, two, three, mm, and then we have we our got, we got. our rare slot. Austere Command, great card. That's good. I like very, it. Very, very good card. 
And then we have Anara. a Anara, and is that a <gasps> ja oh Jessica? Oh. Ooh. So Anara and a Jessica Thrice Reborn. Is That's it? one of the cards well, I want. Well, I'm curious. So this, Aya! what happens here? You have one rare, an uncommon, a mythic. So what is this slotting going on here? There is legends always at the back of the pack. Is this what's happening? Is you got your rare slot and then you have two legends? We'll see if that, uh, yeah, because this says can be your commander. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one of the commanders I'm looking for right now because, uh, um, who's the other one? Tevesh saw it. I want to make a Rakdos deck around this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loyalty counter from each each time you've cast it from the command zone. Uh, zero, choose target creature until your next turn. If that creature would deal combat damage to one of your opponents, it deals triple that damage. Yep. Okay. Interesting. Uh, deals X damage up to three targets. Cool card. I've seen over Another cool pairing is uh, Jessica with her brother. I've seen him. Who's Kamal. Jessica's brother? Um, that's Kamal. Kamal. Yeah. What what colors is Kamal? Um, it's an illegal, I think it's an illegal pairing because I think he's a creature, but Kamal is green. Cool. Well, so we've hit two mythics. Carter. We hit a, the Hellkite and the the Jessica. So. And he's from the set too. If we come across Kamal. Another snippy snippy. Oh, hey, Ems, how's it going? We love Hi, you. Hi, Emery. I'm about to play after that war crumb of a game we played. Wish me luck. You know what, Emery? It was a horrible game of attrition, but again, I, I'm still, I stand behind how things went down. It was too much power going against its, it was, it was, it was a conflict, darling. And unfortunately, no one could really do anything until the very end there. <laughs> All right, we are into the uncommons. Yeah, well, we got Blade, Lightning Rig Crew, Patron of the Valiant, Vampire. Oh, ho, ho. all right. That's your first. Hold up, that's my first legit Vampiric Tutor. Yay! Ooh. I didn't waste money. I'm Prosecco. Okay, yeah, I, I forgot that Vampiric Tutor was in the set. What's this card worth right now? Uh, I'm gonna assume right off the top of my head, it's worth sixty bucks. Sixty bucks? Yep. Okay, let's see. Ooh, Commander Legends. Okay, let's see what's uh, what's after Vampiric Tutor. We got a uncommon... 42 American. Yeah, that's a $60 card. We yeah. got two copies of Radiant, Sarah Archangel, and Keskit. Um, so it looks like two legends at the back of the pack. Anyway, that, yeah. That. 56 American dollars. 56? 56 Canadian, sorry. 56 ca Canadian yeah, dollars. 56. 56 of the bow, Canadian, bow, bow. Canadian that's rubles. That's fucking awesome. This is dope. Um, yeah. I'm very happy about that. There's just, I guess, been a vampire tutor. I will fight you for that, Jessica. I'm just saying that's that's the uh, Jessica. Yeah, we're yeah we're talking about that later. <laughs> well, how, how much is the Jessica worth? I have no idea. I just look it up. Fight it's the full it. art. It's the full art. I, uh, it looked pretty cool. Yeah, full art, Jessica. Do do do. Next pack. All right, we'll try and speed this up. I guess I don't want to meander too much. Um, oh yeah, uh, oh, Emery. Okay. Emery, you said you were hosting tonight, right? You were gonna have some people. Yeah. Props to everyone having the balls to gather in the literal uh, hellscape that is negative 40 wind chill yeah, right now in Calgary right now. 38 without wind chill. That's Celsius. <gasps> that's cold balls. That's actually, the funny thing is that that's Celsius and Fahrenheit. They both, minus 40 Celsius is where minus 40 Fahrenheit meets up. All right. Let's go through the commons. All right, we got a Horizon Scholar. Gave us some value. Ooh, we got a Rex Sage. Oh, that's always good. Always a good card. Mm. Hero's Blade. Oh, good. That's a good. That's a good combo piece. We got a black card. Move out. Oh, I pulled it out of the side. Elvish Dreadlord. Okay. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's our Encore. Interesting. I didn't know it existed. I will have to fight you for that as well. When it dies, non-elf creatures get minus three, minus three till end of turn. Nah, I don't want it. Never mind. Ooh, Encore. Oh, you got a... Uh... Wait, the Encore would give it uh, minus 12, right? Because yeah. three of them would be dying? For seven. Minus oh, 12. Man. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a board ah, wipe. Yeah. It's a board no, wipe. No, Tyvar is too far. Ghost. For that. There's a Kedis. Kedis I, I love Mabe. the art. I love the art on this card. You know what? Actually, one of my favorite... Uh, ever, like, I would love this as a mat. If you really look at it especially, when I made Arden and Kedis, um, it was like a, a Voltron deck, and it really made sense because he's sitting on a, on a top of like a bunch of equipment and stuff, and that deck was literally Voltron with, you know, free, free equipment cast shenanigans. The yep. flavor of that, bro. Oh, man. No one yeah. liked it, though, so I took it apart. <clears throat> Come on, go back into your pack. Sorry, I'm doing this off camera. I should be struggling so that all you guys can see me struggle <laughs> for entertainment purposes. All right, next pack. These these packs feel interesting. They are thicker. Thick. They're they thick, thick, boy. Because they're 20 cards. Oh, man. 
opening damn cards without me? Yeah. Yeah, Brando, we uh, we just decided that we were going to snap this off. But don't uh, worry, we're, you're with us in spirit. I bought Prosecco. Oh, yeah, we're celebrating yeah. the Jeweled Lotus. We started the video <laughs> saying that we were going to celebrate... <laughs> Before opening the packs, <laughs> to to make sure that your spirit was here. Yeah, to honor you, my, <laughs> to honor you, my bad. To honor you. Yeah, we're trying to open the lotus. We uh, I don't know if you saw earlier, Brandon, but yeah, we got a little bit. I got it. a vampiric tutor. Beow, beow. So, that's my first one that I that I actually own. I'm not really like, I'm not really known for like going out and buying a bunch of like bougie, super expensive cards. So. I, I just proxy them. I print. I print fake versions of them. Never didn't have it. <laughs> Never didn't have it. All right, we got. For my Tavash, come on, Tavash, come to me, baby. Fencing Ace. Sorry, I wasn't looking where my cards were. Burnished Heart, always good a good card. card. Feast of Success. Oh, okay, so Seb McKinnon. Seb McKinnon, incredible artist. Yeah, incredible artist. Bit of a prude, apparently. Yeah, bit apparently, a apparently he got a, got into some trouble. But yeah, uh, that's not that's not the point of this. <laughs> oh, good. Fantastic artist. Props. You owe me the jeweled lotus if you crack it. That's the payment for doing it without me. <laughs> well, I really hope this isn't an artifact. Oh, okay, it's a blue card. Sakashima's oh, protege. By the way, uh, a dead card considered in the set outside of Oathbreaker would be a Hull Breacher. Oh yeah, Hull Breacher. It still commands somewhat of a price, right? Uh, like eight bucks, I think. So Sakajima's protege enters the battlefield as a copy of any permanent that entered the battlefield this turn. I actually oh uh, cascade interesting. I, uh, I need to pick up one of those for my clones deck. Again, trusty pack beast, and there's the old the slot for the prismatic there's piper. The that card that, that card is so yeah. incredible. Well, it's in, it. The only reason this card exists is so that you can draft mm -hmm. the colors you want. It, it's sense. it's absolutely useless outside. I, of I, that. I thought of making a, a weird one. I wanted to use the the same one that they did with the backgrounds. There's the faceless one or whatever. I, I was like, I want to just. <laughs> it's like an Orzov deck or something. You know, like you can only choose one of, of any color. So I'm just going to use both as my commander, and the, the deck will just speak for itself. Dan is inspired, man. I'm not lying. The, yeah. Yeah. His 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 illegal commander selection deck. Oh yeah, yeah. Super fun to, to get into that. No, I'm gonna put a fire under his butt. I'm gonna inspire him. <laughs> All right. Okay. Scissor me timbers. Mm. <laughs> That's a good episode. <laughs> South Park fans out there, I hope you, uh, <laughs> hope you got that right away. <laughs> Scissor me timbers. Schwing. This is Lesbos. Okay. <laughs> Welding sparks. Uh, no, 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 no. What? Oh, I just see a foil. These are these are common. I, I think it's. Oh, is there? There's a foil black card at the no, back. Yeah. All right. Um, it's actually easier if I do it like this. Natural reclamations. This is ring. All right, we got the uncommons here. Vow of lightning. Vow. Arcane signet. Huh? Right on. I mean, every single one of these is uh, just nice to have. Drop. Ordeal of Nylea. and <gasps> it's an artifact. Oh, Nevenril's disc. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. That's Come gonna be, on. That's going to be every pack here. Yeah. Uh, ick to kick. Dargo. No, that's not what I thought of that. I saw the black Foil blade like, oh, brand. Is that I got excited. Maybe that was like Whoa, a what, what is this? Salamander warrior. Yeah, that came with that, that one uh, at the beginning of everyone's end step or whatever. You get a... Like, he has protection or you and this creature has protection from salamanders. Interesting. Super interesting, weird... Uh, silly. Actually, uh, shout out to Oz Bishop. He has uh, Gak Muldrak, I think it is. Um, <laughs> the old Gak Drak. Super weird, super weird group hog. <laughs> the, the old Gak Drak. See, th th this is group hug to me. This is group hug. Well, group this, group this hug is, is always with conditions. Yeah, this is this is Oz. Oh. This is a group hug. This is Oz. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we've hit a vampiric tutor, which was like. So you know what's funny is that you can you can actually buy a box of Commander Legends, or at least like a month or two ago when I checked, you can buy them for like a hundred and ten bucks, Canadian. They're pretty cheap. They're uh, they don't seem to have held a whole ton of value. Visser Seer is always a great card to have. Visser uh, Seer, you know, a small tangent. I had a like twenty of them in my collection at a point when they mm -hmm. were like ten bucks back in two thousand and eighteen. I was like, what? Because I bought one initially for ten dollars, and without realizing, I had some in my bulk and. The way the money goes in this game is crazy. Volcanic Torrent. Okay, here we go. It's a green card. It's a... Immaculate Magistrate. Oh, Tabs ooh. to put a 1-1 counter on target creature That's for each elf you control. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Doesn't... Siani, Bella Borka, Bell and then a Bork foil Bork. disc. 
foil disc. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, some of these packs, fairly disappointing in regards to, like, value, right? Uh, so far, we've lucked out with two. We've, yeah. uh, I think our highest, I think we're, I'm going to guess right now, $40. No, the Vampiric Tutor is more than that. Outside of the Vampiric Tutor, sorry. Uh, oh, I see. That was 60. No, not 40. Sorry. Fast math, bad skill makings here. Boom. Uh, so we're allowed, I'm going to say 70 bucks. We're at 70 bucks. 80 bucks. Sorry. Yeah, Jessica's I can't, like even, 10 bucks. can't even remember how much I paid for this box. Um. Oh, ooh, go back. What's uh, wrong? Nidir's Nightblade. Yeah, there's some cash money. What? I didn't see that. N Nidir's Nightblade? No. Nope. Oh, that's in the set. Oh, oh, it just looks like it. There is one from the set. It's if a token leaves the battlefield, one damage to each opponent, you gain one. I do believe hmm. that's what it does. It's it's uh, uh, pretty. It's like three bucks. Skeleton. In the All right. Vow of Wilderness. Oh, yeah. In the uncommon, sorry. Demonic lore enters the battlefield. Uh, Draw good for Blim. Three. Very good for Blim. Unless, you know, I've killed myself with it too. This is actually a lot like, uh, this This is the kind of card that I like to play in Corvold. Because mm. you, you can sacrifice three. it right away and you don't have to worry about the, the downside. Three CMT is pretty sweet. Monstrous Onslaught. We've got a Court of Cunning. Enters the battlefield, you become the Monarch. At the beginning of your upkeep, any number of target players, each mill two. If you're the Monarch, each of those players mills ten. Mill ten on upkeep. Man, I... Okay, so here's, like, this isn't a hot take. It's just basically about milling. If you don't mill your... If you don't mill someone to death, you are doing essentially just nothing but positive things for them, right? Filling people's graveyards is a lot of times a good thing for them. Skilled animator. Okay. Court of... Court of balling? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not, I, not I just even stalled. Good balling. I stalled so hard on that. No, I don't even know. I, I, right. I whipped on it too. We've got one stack, one third of the box. All right. Been gone through. Okay. Now I swear this is the ground score. Oh, that's the one. Yeah. I was like, where did it go? Did it get just shoveled back into no, the, no. the thing? <laughs> the one that fell. Cheers to everybody that's uh, that's hanging out. Yeah. Cheers, darling. Please. I mean, I think uh, Spilkers went back to kicking ass and committing war crimes with Kai Car. Oh, that is her. That's a block. Ah! Bah. Oh, can't go in there. Can't go in there. All right. Pull the cards out. Let's get through the commons. We, uh... Murder? Murder just works. Card, <laughs> Murder just that, works. The card just works. Fucking <laughs> intangible virtue. This is, uh, this is uh, a decent card. That can be a game-ending card. If you yep. build your deck right... Something as simple as a massive token generating uh, combo or sequence of events with a nice little intangible virtue finish, ensuring with vigilance. Oh, yeah. Vigilance. Oh yeah. yeah. All right. Second, Second one. To talk by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Guildless Commons enters tapped. I like this card. I appreciate this card. Wait, when it enters the battlefield, return a land you control to its owner's hand. Yeah. Oh, so and it's tapped for two. Good for landfall. And oh, this artifacts. is a this is and a so colorless bounce land. Yeah. I, I actually do appreciate Ooh. this. I will uh, I cool. replace all of my Temple of the False Gods with this one. Cool, yeah. It's just, yeah, that makes sense. All right, we got to victimize. Uh, and I love victimize. That's actually worth, uh, I think, a dollar or so. Armored Sky oh, Hunter. What is buck. this? That's a three buck drop. Um, it's uh, really, really great for auras and equipments. Every every Voltron player out there uh, would agree that this has probably oh, helped okay. them more than once. If an equipment card is put onto the battlefield this way, but... you may attach it to a creature you control. Bam, yeah. yeah. Cool. Yep. Cool. Uh Nadir. Nimrus. What's that? Nimrus is a fairy uh, that's knight. A CDH commander. Look at that. Read that out for everyone. Uh, uh flash. Flying. Whenever you cast your first spell during each tier opponent's three. turn, look at the top two cards of your library, put one of those cards into your hand and one other in your graveyard. I believe. Interesting. The, yeah. So just like everyone else's turn is give you, you know. I've seen it do some cool stuff. I haven't yet seen it do like turn two winning shenanigans. But I've seen it do like even even in, in high-powered commander uh, scenarios, I've seen Nimrus do some savage stuff. Oh. I should probably start recording. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to the Rogue's Passage. No, I mean we've been we've been live and I can get it from uh, I can get it from Twitch. I can get it from Twitch. But I didn't start recording. What what you know what? We're celebrating too early, bro. <laughs> celebrating too early. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Swing. 
It's okay. We, we only need to record the part where I open the Lotus anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get through the comments. Yeah. Sailor of Memes. Taylor memes. Doomed trout. Ooh, there's the priority. Silence Revelry. Yay, I made it for a live. Who oh, Silent Revelry. Hey. Yo, yeah, this is uh, Silent Revelry is uh, who he shipped the hoodie to. Oh, we just did that today for y'all. Yeah, sorry. It, it was uh, it was minus, th it's minus 38 degrees Celsius, which is basically minus 38 Fahrenheit. Yeah. We're, uh, we're talking about like people are dying on the streets right now. It is that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's rough here up in the old good. I, 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 even, I even took money today. I was like, you know, just in case I'm taking some photos. <laughs> if this comes up, like, weather be bad. I, I'm yeah. taking stock photo image proof. <laughs> no, my, my truck, I have a I have an F-150 yeah. that is frozen solid outside. I literally, I can't even turn the key. The tumbler, like the ignition tumbler is frozen. It's minus 40 degrees. And we've just been like, oh, <laughs> how your garage almost didn't I, close, man. That was yeah. like, oh god. <laughs> I, I wish, I wish I could show you right now the, um, the Brady's window in the bedroom over here is just oh, I chipped, all. I chipped, it, I chipped it away. Oh, I was it's, worried it's, that there was gonna be precipitation damage. It's so all I, ice. I chipped it away and I, I, I mopped it up. And I say this thing. because it's probably, it's probably so toasty warm in, in Arizona right now. Hey, <laughs> like, it's so cold here. Uh, so yeah, if uh, if you're just popping in live, we are we're opening a box. Bro, 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 bro. Of Commander Legends. Yep, we're uh, we are celebrating early that jeweled lotus. We don't know we're getting. Yeah. Yeah, trying yeah. trying to pull a jeweled lotus, <laughs> and so far have not done it. But I don't know. Maybe maybe good luck. What did we get to the uncommons here? Fire diamond? No, we didn't. Oh, Maelstrom Colossus. This I needed more of anyway because I uh, it's a popper Tron deck that I'm well, yet, looking to build. We, until we draft. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, no, I'm keeping all these cards because no, I, no, yeah, yeah. I, I can't rightfully. Oh yeah, it, it, for people. Just uh, coming in. I'm now. so stoked for it. I live in a desert and it's not that bad, but it gets to like 32, like minus 32 or 30. No wait, 32 Fahrenheit is. I think that's close to freezing, right? Think, is is like, it? Isn't that like zero? Like, <laughs> it's not that cold. I think 30 degrees Mega Fahrenheit. <laughs> I think 30 degrees Fahrenheit is where. There you go. Yeah, yeah, is where water freezes. So we're we're. Celsius, that would be about zero Celsius, and we're that's, minus that's 40 dream Celsius. For me. Personally, like my Viking blood is like, I appreciate that tone. Like, because for a while there, it was like super nice and snowy. Well, kind of. It was snowy for a period, and then it went from, there was no grace period for it. It was just frigid to hell. Yeah, really. it was like the, <laughs> the mildest winter that we've ever had. Um, and it's it's what it's the twelfth of January. We, like two days ago, it was just like, all right, let's get cold. In the sunlight today, we opened up the door and the heat, like the like the, it was just like the the air escaping our house turned into ice particles inside. <laughs> it was <Yeah>. that cold. <laughs> okay, we got oh that's a, yeah that's oh, a yeah, common. Let's get back to it. So we got uh, Codex Shredder. Always and uh, also great for CDH, but uh, yep. always appreciate a command sphere. Never underestimate yep. a three drop thing that can give you a card a card draw at least. Yep. At least. Uh, Meteoric Mace. I Cas a Cascade Equipment. Interesting. I tried to make it work for me. It's hard. Um, Lore Seeker Stone. Yeah, it's bad. Six mana. It's bad. Three tap, draw three cards. This ability costs one more to activate for each card in your hand. That Wait. <laughs> Isn't this really bad? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't this really bad? <laughs> it's it says something that's saying uh, insane. And then, this is not good. There's ways to probably make it useful, but it's just too many steps to make anything. Necrotic like. Hex. Each player sacks six creatures. You create six zombies. I like that. That's a Terra Grid card if I've ever seen one. Halana, Foil or Millery Sphere. Okay. Yeah, so we're, uh, for people that are just popping in, I'm putting these cards back in the packs because I bought this box of Commander Legends because I do like the Commander draft format. It is really, like, unique and fun. You, you get to pick like two cards each pick you have to build a commander deck as you go and i do i didn't want to like i i, I want to draft with this box i full stop i'm not I, like that is gonna happen but i'm also i've been antsy it's been sitting in my cabinet for like years and i just want to know if there's a lotus in it although we did we did get a, a vampiric tutor so yeah we got a vampiric tutor and a we jessica got a frame jessica's uh jessica planeswalker um, like a couple few things that had like, you know, a little bit of value, like, uh, like an arcane signet and, and such. But so far, I think we're still sitting only around maybe $80 worth of value. Yeah. I think the box is probably a hundred dollars Canadian value. Um, all right, let's get through the commons. Bam, 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 bam. Really Path of ancestry is actually it, uh, surprising that this is just 
kind of a better guild gate or whatever, right? It enters tapped. It can be. It's it's it, it's it adds color it of must be whatever your commander is. No, it oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But but the thing is, if you just choose the creature type that your commander is, you just get a scry off your commander. Oh. Right? Okay, I see the value in that. Yeah. Oh, it, I still think it's a bit more circumstantial. I still like it, 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 I would it, prefer Yeah, I'd prefer a land that comes in tapped to have more to more more value. So I would usually only put it in with more than one of that one Yeah, but Say you put this in Kenrith, it taps for all five. And you scry when every time, like when you play Kenrith. I guess it's, uh, Kenrith human. Yeah. Uh, Kenrith play. human stacks, I believe. Exactly. The so one, two, three. We obviously have a red. <sighs> Emberwild captain. Monarch. What is this? Uh, you become damage. the monarch. Four mana, four, two. Whenever an opponent attacks you while you're the monarch, it deals damage to that player <gasps> equal to the number of cards in their hand. Oh, my wheels deck wants it. My brawling deck. Hmm. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> I use Path and one called Study Hall. Yeah, Study, study Hall's Hall pretty good I like. too. I like Study Hall. Togo to you. Oh, the Foil Command Tower. Oh, that's cool. Foil? That actually might be worth something. That might be worth a buck or something. Uh, nah, I think because they got, they got printed to death. Uh, no, 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 no. Foiling? <laughs> foiling? A, a, a Foil Command? Yeah, but look, uh, I would at least assume uh, from Popper alone. It's a Pringle. Look at it. Look at it. You, we, I showed you how <laughs> I know, to Pringle. I know. With my fancy oh, fingers, yeah. you I know showed what? Let's you do... how my apprentice. <laughs> let's, let's, let's do a little side tangent here. So Brady showed me, let's say you pull a Pringle foil here, right? I, I actually used... May I? May I? Actually? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now there is a bit of a technique. Now I'd, I'd actually rather not use oh. this specific... You know what? There was another... Uh, it's on the floor there to your left, the uh, the microphone stand. The microphone the little, stand? The little pole with the sticker on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's well, what I used for the other ones. You can you can do this. So even how, how about you just like angle this for me? I think this is good. Yeah. So everyone's gonna kind of see. Actually, put it in the middle so I can stitch it for a TikTok. There. <laughs> so I can stitch it for a TikTok. Yeah. Here's. So literally, all you have to do is there's like a. You have a, to massage you it. You gotta massage it. Now, if you are gonna be a snob, now I, I mean to I, I must enforce this. If you're gonna, this is not the technique I would want to do. If you want any. Uh, slight abrasions to to form because that can happen but you can already see from what i've already done see how instantaneous yeah. that is okay so now there is a technique to this blessed be to adhd osd <laughs> dead, okay, all that kind of thing okay so all you gotta do is kind of go back and forth just delicately make sure if you have ginormous bird eating spider tarantula hands <laughs> that i do you can encompass <laughs> In encompass encompass sorry the prosecco is speaking encompass <laughs> all sides Use your carpentry scroll di dialect here. Yes. <laughs> Keep it. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> but all you gotta do is this: move yeah. it back and forth. And now and it's then, done. Now, okay, now it's now it's reverse Pringled. But now there's a thing that, about that. It actually because of the initial Pringling. It, it will settle. All you want to do is <laughs> you want to keep it this way and then sleeve it, and then it will. And I mean this: stay flat. Stay flat. Now the other yes. technique. Stay flat, my friends. The other technique that I must enforce is simply just massaging it with your hands. Now you can take it like this and kind of go like this on either side. You can do this multiple times, back and forth. <laughs> this is it's getting R-rated, Brady. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll uh, hold on. I'll light some candles for you. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> but yeah, no, see, as you are, on camera, verbatim. As you were. You've seen uh, it now, it is flat. <laughs> I guess this was in the foil slot here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Brady makes me so happy. Thank you. <laughs> I try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that that's how you uncurl a, a foil card. And then we put it back in the pack so that we can draft it later. Put it over here. And, and then we re-sleeve it in the condom. <laughs> so, <laughs> God damn it, Brady. <laughs> Prosecco! It's Prosecco speaking. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're, uh... We're having fun. Um, I... I'm starting. We're halfway through. We're doing good. Brady, this is a Brady, fun recording. I want my Lotus. <laughs> we are <waiting> to, like, <laughs> Brady, I want my Lotus. Brandon, you lied to me about <laughs> these powers. <laughs> I'm probably going to, like, burst out of my chair, though, if we do get there. All right, we got a prophetic prison. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab Open the armory. Don't worry. Uh, that's worth a couple bucks. This is actually, yeah, it's, it's an it's a tutor for an aura or really equipment. Good. Yeah, any, it, it is a very good tutor. Card. Any tutor in the game. If you build right, is yes. powerful. Mindless automaton. Uh, yeah, it's actually you know what? It's very fun very, to break this card. Very, very beautiful. Proliferation, art. proliferation uh, is it's it's fun to break with that. Um, you can proliferate and then also see death triggers. I abuse it all the time in in my Masaryk uh, uh, rot farm brew. Um, it's quite fun. Yeah, Silent says I'm currently trying to build 
Capricotti or Cap? Wait, Caparocti Sunborn PDH. Caparocti Sunborn PDH, and the one I have is. Tacoed. We recently got into PDH and. Tacoed. God damn, PDH is surprising. It's worse like, than Pringle. <laughs> Tacoed is worse than Pringle. That's rated R shit. <laughs> <laughs> PDH PDH is a spicy format, and I am very like I have three other decks that I want to build. I just I just got to get around to doing it. Uh, but right now we're gonna ooh, Kumbaj. Mm, more Seb McKinnon. Kumbaj. Oh, he yeah, uh, he dude. he had his fingers all over these cards. This Seb pet. McKinnon was like it was it was, was without a doubt it was like my favorite artist. Um, yeah, I heard some shit that he was that he got into some trouble. He got into some trouble with some with being, with being a jerk. <laughs> yeah, he was. Oh. Sakashima's wheel. That is a very good card. Bam, bam, bam. Let's, uh, let's is that a, a is that cut. a money hit? Wait, see, choose uh, one. If you control a commander as you cast this spell, you may choose both. Target opponent chooses a creature they control. You, oh, okay, so it's a gain control. It's a mind control. That is worth and, nothing. <laughs> choose a creature you control. Each other creature you control becomes a copy of that creature. It. <laughs> Wait, so you can steal somebody's creature and make all of your creatures that creature? I need to get that for my Sakashima and Kodama of the East Tree. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, um, brew, it's oh my goodness, it's... crack the thumbless. <laughs> At least fun to build around that, actually. Yeah, Vow of Torment, and we've got another Summon Manamander. If you haven't seen Sunborn, I recommend checking him out, and Sokka will be busted. Yeah, yeah. so Kappa, okay, we're gonna do that right now while you do your thing. Yeah, yeah, check that out. Kappa Rakti. Okay. Sunburn. Scissors to another pack. <clears throat> Whenever Caparacti Sunborn attacks, you may tap two untapped artifacts and or creatures you control if you do discover three. That sounds... Wait, sorry. You inspired me, Sil Silent Reverly. Look at this. Uh, whenever Caparacti Sunborn attacks, you may tap two untapped artifacts and or creatures you control if you do dis discover three. That's rude. Yeah, I mean, with the right... In Boros! Ex Oh, yeah, Boros. Like red white is getting <laughs> a lot of love lately. Boros is getting some mad, mad. All right, all right. Here it is. This is. I'm just gonna call it. This is the pack. Ooh, pilfer. Core cartographer. Uh, cannonade's a good popper card. Really is. It's a good field wipe. Opal Palace. All right, we got burning okay. anger. Here we go. <laughs> Gavin used to kick my ass. I can't remember what what he used to do, but he used to really make me angry with his card in command. <clears throat> Dreamstone Hedron. That art Only is Only good for Eldrazi decks. And ironically, look at that. Look what's yeah. on the cover. Yep. <laughs> All right, we've got an Armorcraft Judge. Okay. Actually, you know what? That's really fun to break. Um, I've seen an SX deck uh, that utilizes Counters Matter, ETB triggers, um, with that on the stack. Draw you can basically card. draw it if you build it right. Okay, Artifact? No, it's a black card. It's a black card. Court of Ambition. Ah, it's good. Actually, it's, it's fun. At the beginning that of your upkeep, each opponent loses three life unless they discard a card. If you're the monarch, e instead each opponent loses six life unless they discard two. Oh. So keeping the monarch until your upkeep. Wow, six life unless they discard two. That's that's a lot of pressure. Uh, we've got Quain, Gore, and a foil angelic gift, and then a really pretty copy token. Okay, Brady, we're getting uh, we're getting through this box. Yeah, quarter of ambition is. Oh, sorry. Court of ambition. Sorry, that was court of a what? what? Uh, it was a black one. Was it ambition? It's right here. Uh, yes, it's ambition. Yeah, that uh, court of ambition is six dollars American. Six dollar. Oh, six American dollars. Man, you have no idea how valuable American dollars are in this country. Yeah, that's about nine, nine, nine dollars Canadian. It'll probably be sold for a ten dollar card. No, no, no. Some LGSs don't respect the math. <laughs> no, actually, honestly, I take that back. I literally take that back. <laughs> There's a lot to keep up with. I've heard more than once, actually. I brought that theory once to somebody who was like, uh, I work there? Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, no, totally. Can you imagine the pain? Like, the, the absolute, the... How the hell do you keep pace with all of the price changes? This came up actually once. With a bit of a, I'll make this as fast as possible. I bought Tiny Bones while it was in the 80 of Canadian Ooh. dollar ranges twice in a weekend. 
the first time. I don't want to get exactly explain why, but I lost the first time I bought it with a big other stack of cards and I was heartbroken. So I was like, you know what? Screw that. Tiny Bones was the destination. I'm going back. I'm doing this. I still have enough in my savings. Fuck it. I'm that upset. And I went back and then uh, I bought it. And um, it was about, I'm not even joking, maybe five days la uh, later, I went to go buy some sleeves. Like, f <laughs> spend the, the, the money I could spend. Like, you know, just a little bit for, uh, for, uh, for like, you know, ultra fit. And I saw... Um, where I was buying it at the time was like $15 and I was shook and I looked up. I'm not joking I looked oh, no. I immediately I immediately jumped online and I saw that because of like the, the way that the money like all the, the Printing and all that kind of stuff was happening with jumpstart at the time. He just went just plummeted Muxus when I bought it for $30 Was like five bucks and I was, I was literally so salty that I just spent a hundred and sixty dollars Well, were you were you part. buying it like so? What I want to give you warning here. If you're buying it when the hype has been generated, the card is freshly available. Yeah, I bought it basically the... at the plateau right yeah. before without without any of it. It's and the, the worst time. It. Apparently, well, the reason why I was salty is because many of the stores that have been selling it at the time, they just hadn't adjusted prices. That was it. Yeah. And I was pissed. Uh, I Silent saying, I'll mail you American bills for any merch I buy from y'all from now on. I... I don't just do want, that. No. Don't do that. No, I want you to know I, I just follow us and show your support. You're what you're already doing is worth more than gold. <laughs> yeah, I just Please. I appreciate so much the just the kind words. You've you've said a lot of kind words and we very much appreciate it. And it was really nice. Like we, we trudged out in minus forty weather to go ship that hoodie. <laughs> it felt good. It felt great. And thank you so much for uh, being a supporter. <laughs> so my spider fingers are Let's. so happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> Your spider fingers. Okay, is this it? Is this yeah. going to be the one? This is one uncommon, two uncommon, three uncommon. Oh, there we go. Nadir's Nightblade. A couple blocks. Wait, this is the one. Whenever you, whenever in a massive token you can Massive combo piece. Hell yeah. Oh. Look at that. Suck it in, boys. <laughs> uh, is this, this is similar to the, um, the, uh, the bat? The Malakir. Oh, yeah, the Malakir bat, and as well as even, like, you know, it triggers really well with uh, Marionette Master and things like that. So. What is the what is that bat called? The one from Lord of the Rings. Uh, 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 uh. It's called the uh, uh, uh. Nah! Oh. Quick, quick, <laughs> quick! Ignore me while you do your thing. <laughs> uh, uh, coercive quick. Recruiter. Hey, help us! <laughs> There's the rare. Whenever coercive, coercive Recruiter or another pirate enters the battlefield in your control, gain, gain control of target creature until end of turn. Ooh, hold up. Oh my god, this is insane in... Um... Mirkwood Bats. Mirkwood Bats, yeah. Do you know what my prompt was? Bat, Lord of the Rings, MTT. <laughs> <laughs> this would be insane in uh, Beckett Brass. Oh my god, Rionia. Whenever a pirate enters a battlefield, gain control of target <clears throat> any, creature. Any, any uh, copy target creature mechanic. Woo! Things like this. Okay, so Ry Rionia from Strixhaven. It, it counts your instants and sorceries cast before combat, and then you create that many tokens. Woo! This is basically stronger than uh, the uh, greedy manacor or whatever. There's a anything that just Im immediately steals anything. Oh, okay, it's it's in the pirate precon. So this is this is a slot for maybe not, a commander. Not as good as that hasty boy pirate that steals yeah. things. Yeah, slurk all in. Oh, look at that art. Look at that boy. There's actually a really cool pairing with this guy and Ith to Kik. You make a really, really powerful Golgari deck that functions around golems and oozes. I've seen it happen. Interesting. Shouts out, uh, shout out to Connor. Aha, yeah. He's one of uh, Emery's uh, um, pod mates. Rock. That, that actually might be worth a buck. Really? Yeah, obscure weird tokens are only ever getting there. I'm, I'm just guessing. Look at this MTGO. They're advertising magic online in Commander Cube. <laughs> Commander Cube and every other format in between. They're trying. That's they're, cool. They're trying everywhere. They're, they're, they're trying because I, dude, MTGO is, MTGO is the GOAT. The fact that you can play Popper, Pioneer, Standard, Cube, Legacy, MTGO, Vintage, you're everything. you're saying MTGO is the GOAT? It is. Yeah. It doesn't think, look, it doesn't look good, but it is the GOAT. Here's my opinion on it. Right now, only take possible. It's a two each his own pro for sure. I think the fact that it has anything as successful as it's doing that's magic related, but obviously the only thing that they release under Wizards of the Coast, for sure. I'm happy that it's going very well for them. But for those who honestly think that paper magic is the best, that's where the debate stops. What? It's, 
Yeah. Well, yeah, paper, paper, paper magic is the best. I, I think I think everybody I think everybody agrees. Right. Well, okay, unless, my, my unless thing, you say goat, so I'm like, well, okay, greatest of all time. That's why that's where I'm like, okay, now I'm now I'm arguing. <laughs> I think like if the only like I understand if you're like, man, I'm really socially awkward. I don't enjoy the the struggle of like playing against people but you love the strategy but you when you're it, playing yeah. on arena or magic online there is no expectation to converse with your opponent or deal with their bullshit or there's <sighs> there's no like you're free of that it's it, be, it becomes the, like, yeah, the digital right. like the puzzle of it just, just hands in the camera <laughs> <laughs> just hands we're just hands tonight folks tarantulas and hands <laughs> all right uh, also the boy is still sleeping above us <laughs> You have a child? I have a child. <laughs> uh, scholar, he, and little Luca is the scholar of the stars. Little Drizz. <laughs> yeah. All Luca right, rain. let's get through these commons. Ooh, Ambush Viper. Come on, this art. This that card, art. You know what? That's the original Toad, isn't it? The original frog, that recent Poison Dart frog? That's oh, Poison one. Dart frog? Yeah, yeah. yeah Ambush this Viper. Did, this guy didn't work. Yep. Uh, I feel I play better competitively digitally than I do in person. Yeah, it's it's a real thing. Like when you're playing digitally, you are like competitively in person. You are subject to the energy. No, not only the energy, but like your opponent can play mind games on you. Yeah, I, that's what, what that's that for me is that what I'm leaving. Yeah, it's, it, it's your opponent it. your opponent can rush you right, and it's like you can call a judge to stop them from doing so. But a lot of people. They, when they go to magic events or like competitive situations for the first time, they get pushed into a situation where they're playing against somebody who knows that they can kind of like power struggle them hey. and they can like mad dog them. And like it, it's actually kind of toxic. You know what? I just had a thought. Silent Revelry, come join us in Spell Table. Oh, yeah. Do you do you have a Spell Table set up? Yeah, like, come we'll, join we'll, our Discord. We'll wrap we'll this hook up. something up. We could play some Commander tonight. Tonight? Yeah. Yeah, just let us know. Uh, but for now, we're going to, well, okay, wait. We have, we have this many packs to get through. And then it's a Friday. It's it's a Friday, and, and we can't even leave the house if we want to. Your wife is out having fun. <laughs> yeah, it's just boys tonight. Boy. It's boys' night. It's the boys' night. Rupture Spire. Okay, Golem Artisan. Ooh, that's really pretty art. I love that card. The Golem Artisan Sunset Pyramid. Strength of the pack, and we got a white card. A Chroma's Will. Nice. Oh, bro, bro, I think that's worth a couple bucks. Uh, I don't know if it's worth a lot, but it is actually like one uh, of the most a game ending card. I think yeah. it's worth a couple bucks. Nothing crazy, but a couple like bucks. choose. Even if you choose one creatures you control, gain life link, indestructible, and protection from all colors until end of turn. That is worth twenty dollars. Twenty bucks? Mm -hmm. No way. Sex to suck nerd. No, here's the thing. When you have your commander out, and let's say you had something like Rograk. You know what I mean? Yeah. So all you got to do is set it up right. Man. And no matter what, a card that is basically the same cost as what? Teferi's Protection? No, Teferi's Protection is three. But, no, Chroma's Will is amazing both defense, amazing defensively, horrible offensively. <laughs> yeah, you, you will, you're playing a Chroma's Will on average to win the game. I have seen it used defensively and it kicks ass. Oh, you got Japanese Ooh, one? Japanese Pops. one? Hell yeah. Um, I, I'll, I would take you up on the offer of doing the Discord call thing and like hopping you in here. Um, but we are 36% on the camera and I worry that if I if I muck about with that right now, I'm going to lose time. I should have just plugged the camera in. And yeah, no, I think we'll, we're, yeah. we'll wrap up doing this video and then, yeah, maybe we can uh, jump in and hang out for a sec. This pack has commons. Big surprise. Boom. <laughs> Brady's dancing. All oh, right. Oh, it seemed to help last time. Furnace celebration. <laughs> Come on. Warden of Evos Isle. This is actually a great card in standard that I, I remember no, 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 playing. No, no, oh, it's a black card, I guess. That's also a good card. Next one is not as well. Oh yeah. Oh, opposition agent. I think, burr, 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 burr. I think it's worth thirty bucks. Opposition agent. Yep. Is that. worth. Around twenty-four American dollars, so that is about American. close to thirty dollars for us. I mean, we've so we made money on the box at this point. This is a yeah, we have a hell of a card. Hum, Hamza, Hamza, ooh, I tried and a foil meteor goal. Ooh, that's a nice little. That's beautiful. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to get the Brady treatment on this one. <laughs> no, no, we're gonna. We're gonna do it later. We got time. The fans want it ASMR. The fans want the curve. They wanted the bubble bath. <laughs> 
Let's oh, we one, got... of our, one of our shorts one day will do a little. Emery saying I won the game with Kai Car, went down to two life. To bow, do it. Bow, bow. Hey, Sorry. the kid is sleeping. Uh, went down to two exist. life to do it because Sutra Priest, but I did it. Wow. Okay, that that's those are really really satisfying wins when you go down to two life. Uh, Emery, my most respected compatriot, bird of a feather that have eviled you and I together. I'm proud of you, darling. <laughs> oh, we got also Sweet. DNF DNF dead in chat says have a like and sub and a good stream. Morning, everyone. Hey, thank, thank where you so is it much. morning where you are? Please tell us yeah. right now. I would love we'd love to interact. Uh, morning, I imagine. Uh, Australia. It's got to be east of the UK, so Europe or Australia. Um. Yeah, we're 9.45 p.m. here. Good morning. I hope you have a wonderful breakfast. I hope you are your favorite cup of coffee today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, I hope that this Kai Car Battle, Brady? Oh, wait, are you, are you saying spell table? Oh, yo, Ems, come join us, please. Yeah, you know what? I, I, I kind of wanted to play some Escape from Tarkov after this, but, but I, Brady but convinced me to maybe just get on 4.45 UK time. 4.45 uh, a.m.? Wow, you're up early. What, uh... What has you up so early? I and assume is... some kind of industrial industrial job, maybe a male person, maybe someone who just you know dreads their job. <laughs> Birmingham, to be exact. Cool. Birmingham's. Oh, like, I love the UK. Beautiful. By the way. You know, I, I love. I love the, the yeah, UK. Yeah, I've been there once, and it is charming. Yeah, I've been for, to Oxfordshire. I've been to London. Uh, I've been to Bath, actually, uh, the hometown of my favorite author uh, for crime fiction, who is Mo Hader. Bath was pretty sweet. <laughs> Roman baths out there. I'm not sure if you know how it's named after. <laughs> Roman bath. I thought bath was like when you, you sit in water. <laughs> <laughs> My cat is awake. Well, I uh, I thank thank you very much for hanging out. We're uh, hey, we're just, thanks for joining us. Please, we we cracked a bottle of prosecco. We cracked a bottle of Commander <laughs> just, Legends. Yeah, thank you. We cracked a, a box. <laughs> of Commander Legends and a bottle of Prosecco yeah. to early to celebrate the inevitable pull of the Jeweled Lotus. Yeah, we're celebrating early. Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, Thought yeah, Vessel. Vessel. That's a couple bucks. This, guess who did the art on this card? RK Post, the, the, the yeah. goat himself, the this, actual goat. This Thought Vessel is an RK Post original. I, you know, I'm not going to lie. A part of my body is going to get tattooed with the skeletal face of his, of yeah. his design, and I'm going to show up to him one day being like, mm! He's like, mm! We got to we got to get some sign some stuff signed by RK Post at the at the recent tournament tour uh, face to face tournament tour here in Calgary. Yeah, you know, like uh, keep the keep the train going. I'm gonna go yeah, grab that. Yeah, yeah, go grab it. We I, I've bumped into RK Post twice at, at events, and he is like the God. I wish I had the tokens that I bought from him handy as well. One of my favorite tokens that I got from RK Post is it's a clue token, and it's the the blue paw print from Blue's Clues. It is like the most charming amazing token i've ever seen in my life we'll do yeah. a we'll do a tease for the undercamera yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. this is a an original piece by rk there's post his, signed by him his, pretty honestly leave it to an artist to have an epic signature, <laughs> signature yeah but yeah no i've all my life loved skeletor he's one of my like inspirations i'm not sure if any of our fans are aware of this Skeletor mixed with a little bit of Jim Carrey. That's my formula. So. <laughs> it's the cinnamon and spice. Yeah. So yeah, shout I out, am. shout out to RK Post. Um, this thought vessel art is phenomenal, dude. Oh. Like, I don't even know what I'm looking at, but I, it's a tetrahedron. So peg that now. <laughs> Nadir's Nightblade and yeah, uh, Body of Knowledge and uh, burp, burp, combo burp. piece card. It's fun, but. The only time I've seen it really, really abused is like Nin the Pain Artist or, or something. Oh, Breaches. 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 Oh. Kamal. There you go. Oh, that's a mythic. Yeah, I was telling you. The beginning of combat on your turn, creatures you can record plus three, plus three, and gain trample. That's, oh, it's an, an eight, eight drop. Honestly, though. yeah, no, it's a big, it's an eight drop, but yeah. you're playing green. He's monitoring. It's a finisher. It's a finisher. It's a finisher. As a commander, I've actually seen Kamal with uh, Jessica for a very, very, very savage times damage. Like, you know, you, you add in basically your <laughs> fire emancipations, your. Yeah. Twin of the uh, dictator of the twin gods, all that kind of stuff. So for the people that have uh, joined late, um, I'm putting these cards back in the packs because I want I want to draft this set, and I'm doing a box opening, but I also want to just like throw these into the pile, and I'd love to do a draft with my friends with this set. We've got uh, this many packs left. And because the boy's been waiting for years, he has the right to say there are the cards that I want from it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on, like I I. 
I really want a Lotus, a Jeweled Lotus, and a Jessica's Will. I saw the Jessica. That's all I'm caring about right now. As all soon right. as I see that Acroma, though, I really love Acroma. I really want to make that that partner deck work. Strategic planning. This this art is from our devastation from when I started playing. It's Gideon and Jace doing fucking what? Like, tell me what they're doing here. Okay, it's um, a Are... one man splainer to the other, <laughs> talking about one. Okay, one's getting all Freudian. The other's getting like real, like you know, uh, I don't know, Hannibal. You know? Yeah, but okay. Oh no, I was gonna say Yo, no, I feel not like... Hannibal. That's no, no, like like Alexander the Great versus this, Freudian. This is one of those moments about. where it's like caption this photo. Conquer for the rights of humanity. <laughs> the other one's like, but there's consequences. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, I just wanted to like. Sometimes I just geek on art. This, this as well. Spark Harvest was from War of the Spark. Um, the Lazatep, like I, I, I can't remember who's in this art. Is that Domi Raid or? Ooh. Oh, I'm getting weird on this. Domi, that's Domi. Yeah. Yeah. This, uh, this, this. I think this was the the moment the Domri was killed. Oh, it even says on the flavor text, uh, with the harvest of Domri. With the harvest spark. of Domri Spark, the Elder Spell began to fuel Bolus's ascension to godhood. Yeah. HR meeting? <laughs> Indeed. Oh, yeah, this is this is HR meeting. <laughs> just, look at look at Jace's fucking hand. <laughs> the union is forming. <laughs> what, did did AI make this image? What is with his hand? <laughs> He's got a glove on one hand and his other hand's off. Anyway, we're I I have. 29% left on the battery. I have to get oh, through I, this. Oh, yeah, that's very odd. Uh, wreck, sis is ring. All right, Ingenuity, Ingenuity engine. engine. Which, by the okay, let, we'll, we'll make this fast. Ingenuity Engine has all of the greatest artifacts ever printed in the game up until the point of Commander Legends in it in its artwork. Oh, yeah, this is the one that has, like... It has uh, dividing, the... a dividing top. It has right there at the very bottom, we have the... Uh, the the, the silo ring is right in the center. If you see, like, it's the, one of the wreaths. And then, yep. uh, yeah, no, we have the very beginning, we have the, the command sphere, and then the rest, yeah, it's it yeah, complicated. Yeah, look up an article on Ingenuity Engine. The, Check out the our art. page on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. We have it actually posted <laughs> on our Instagram. You can see every single card correlated to, to that artwork. Anyways, let's go, right, go, we gotta go, go. We gotta go, we gotta go. We got, oh, this is a land. Spectator scene. Yeah, first battle land. Hell yeah. We got a nice little, uh, basically a, an, an original dual land. Let's let's put it on eBay for 450, 600 bucks. Yeah, we'll say it's a dual yeah. land. Yeah. yeah we'll Said it's a dual land. Uh, wait, Captain Vargas Wrath. Cool. Pirates. It's it's pronounced Vargus Rathe. <laughs> and we got a. All right. We, oh, I, I was like, we, we got our first mox. It's a moss diamond. I was gonna say henna. <laughs> <laughs> henna. Was, there was a, there was a meme floating around. If you look at it, it looks like henna. It's not that funny. Ignore me. I'm full of shit right now. And prosecco. Yeah, Brady <laughs> is full of shit and prosecco. <laughs> Can we get that? I'm getting that up for my for my shirt designs coming up. I'm, I'm putting that on a shirt. Brady's full of shit and prosecco. No, 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 no. Equals <laughs> shit and prosecco. Oh, like people <laughs> equals shit, like Slipknot. That's a good song. Richard Cheese cover. Uh, the best. It's funny you're looking for a jeweled lotus. I just ordered a proxy of that and a mana crypt, and they are really hard to tell they're a proxy. I was tilted over it. Uh, what in the anime stare down is going on? You know, there's a chance yeah. that he's going to pull an original. It, it, it'll be from here because there's a lot of so, counterfeiting issues these days. Um, we we recorded a podcast last night with uh, one of our homies from Dan, the Into the Ninety Nine in, Into the Ninety Nine podcast. Which if if you if you're not aware of the Into the Ninety Nine crew, <coughs> uh, check out their YouTube content, their podcast. They are fucking awesome. They're YYC uh, locals here at the Treaty Seven area of Alberta, and honestly, yeah. they kick ass. They've been doing this a lot longer than us, and they have been very, very gracious mentors to us. Yeah, Silent said he listened to this entire thing. Yeah, like, and, and even, like, I, I, I stopped the recording, but we chatted. We, it was like a four-hour conversation. We, like, we just kept going. It was a bro. I was like, I'm just going to leave. Yeah, but why did this I bring that up? Place. Um, uh, <laughs> I can't remember why I brought it up. Oh, the Jewel Lotus. Um, God. Made my work day go pretty quick. <laughs> That's good. Sorry, I, I, I'm lost in my rant. I'm going to just continue with lost this pack. Lost in the sauce, baby. Oh, it's got, all good. We got, 26%. We got, we got battery. We're making a good time. All right. We got Dragon Mantle. Jalum Tone. Man. Champion of the Flame. This card... Uh, actually, there was a there was a kind of jank standard deck. Proxies versus buying the real cards. Yeah, totally. Um, Dan is... Who we, who we spoke to last night. 
We just, we just, all of us here at the Rogue's Passage believe in playing the game. We don't care about the debate. That gets, the elitism, we're just done with it. <laughs> yeah, the proxy debate, my god. Proxy your cards, play with your cards. Enjoy magic. Just, just enjoy have fun it. with your friends. Enjoy it. Stop it. Make it all work for you. All right, other. one, two, three, three visits. That's, That's a, worth a couple bucks. Search your library for a forest card that can search for duels. Put it on the battlefield. Very good card. And then we have, uh, is it another austere command? Ooh, Archon, Archon of, of Coronation. Coronation. That has actually won me the game a couple times in my Kaikar Polymorph Brew. As long as you're the monarch, damage doesn't cause you to lose life. Oh, so this is kind of like a. Phyrexian on life. It checks for. Yeah, what's the other one? The, the well, angel? Not. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, Platinum Angel. Platinum Angel? Yeah. Not Phyrexian on life. I take that back. That's You can't get counters. Hey, look, it's the menace of CEDH. Ah. Rograx, son of Rogra. R Ro Roga? This card. Roga. This card is a absolute beast in CEDH as one of the partner pairings. You were explaining earlier with Silas Ren, and you're yeah. basically and you're saying that the CEDH communities right now are actually saying, yeah, a little is pissed. this too powerful? <laughs> it's it's because there's so many different cards in Magic that allow you to sacrifice Sac a creature to as an additional cost to cast or, the spell. Or, yeah, and if yeah, the creature costs cards. nothing and you always have it, it's it just enables those cards to be the most efficient tutors, the most efficient Kill spells. Your village rights. Yeah. yeah. This card, pretty pog. Pretty pog. Free village rights. Ooh, That's we got a crazy. Foil Sparky. There's Domri getting getting rainbow fucked. Just, <laughs> just, just prostrated there, there. Oh yeah, he's getting a prostate exam. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he didn't do his uh, his Canadian taxes. There the the exactly. Canadian accent is funny because like I don't speak like that, but. You South Park sure makes it look like. Well, no, when, I, when, I, when I've had a, well, not, not right now, but when I'm hanging out with like construction guys, I start fu like fucking talking like this just a little bit, you know. Oh like, yeah, it but... almost comes out just a little bit. And this is as as Canadian as I end up speaking. And then I'm like, well, I'm actually a bit puffer, so. <laughs> mm, bit puffer. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So why like, am I doing that? <laughs> proxies versus buying the real card. I'll tell you where, where I sit. In, in a nutshell, I, I think that like the feeling of buying an expensive card. And being like stoked about that and, and and like having like being proud and and feeling a, a dopamine rush for like that material thing totally cool that's a great feeling but it doesn't have to be like imposed on other people mm -hmm. right like if you want to buy expensive cards that's sick i like i i recently bought a, a an actual like revised wheel of fortune mm -hmm. and it's like the the coolest like expensive card I, in my I set per, yeah i personally believe, like when you get to like a, a like uh like even when it comes to proxying like i have more than one copies of demonic tutor but i'm not gonna keep buying them so when i have like for yeah. me like i was telling you like when we had that first argument chains of mephistopheles will be in like my mm. big true well that i guess the herb rask but that's that's not a reserve list card but you know like wh when it comes to that I, i've like yes no i own this in my collection and despite the how big my collection is and you know financially how much it stacks up like i'm not it's so hard to get there, and then I'd have to like also cripple my collection even get yeah. like that stuff. So. Don't ever financially uh, stress yourself, pressure to play this game. I, I also, if anybody's watching right now and they're interested, I have a, a Photoshop template for proxies that I use, and it basically it make you just lay out nine cards on an eleven by seventeen sheet, and I recommend that you print them on one hundred and twenty pound cardstock i will I'll, I'll give anybody the the photoshop template you can print the cards on 120 pound cardstock for us it costs about a dollar or a dollar 50 per page so it's like 15 cents per card and they feel like real magic cards um i don't have one handy but they're they're just white on the back side and they feel good anyway let's uh with our 22% battery life left, I'm gonna wait. You've got the stream open on the uh, the thing over there. Did it did it die on us? No. Nope. Oh. Okay, meteor golem. Uh, oh, rings of bright hearth. Okay, I'm gonna speed run these. We got a rings of bright hearth, which is a good card, but it's actually probably not worth much anymore. Hey. Rings of bright hearth. Uh, that's a couple bucks. I, I think it's the same price as Trident Resonator. Yeah. So we got Emoti. Oh, there's the original version of Emoti. Hey, that's weird. Yeah. This is an Amon Ket card. That yeah, was they, of... I don't, yeah. <gasps> Your luck. Yeah, it's cool. Necrotic Hex Foil. Okay, we have uh, three more packs. We have four. Don't forget oh, yeah, the yeah, ground yeah, score. Yeah, yeah, we got we one. We have the millions of viewers right now. They've made their bets. <laughs> 
<laughs> anyone who has started this stream. So you're awesome. saying you personally Wait. recommend Proxy King? Um, Who's saying this? Uh, so uh, yeah, yeah. That. I personally recommend Proxy King. I think that one actually, they have like a really good selection of, of alter art selections, don't they? Like it's yeah. kind of like you kind of show up there and they kind of give you an option well, already. Personally, like I, like the proxy websites, they do make a better quality product. Calling it, it's this pack. Ooh, okay. <laughs> so, but like the the proxy websites, like for instance, I'll show you this one here. This is a uh, like Zaximus. This is a treasure on one side, and it actually it's has like textured. foil. Um, no, it's matted. How do I? Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, like it's like velvet. velvet mat. But it, it feels like sex. Yeah, this it feels like rubber. Like I want to keep touching it. Yeah, that, these, these are amazing. So th they're a Kickstarter. <laughs> it's, it's Zaximus. A, yeah, very very nice proxies. I don't really care if they have a backside because like they they're in sleeves. How, who who doesn't play with sleeves? What who cares about the backside of the card? Oh my god, Brady! We only have four packs left. I have not pulled a Lotus or a Jesk as well. Hey, I didn't say Brandon's magic was exact. Sixty percent of the time, it works all the time. It works all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you, Silent. We'll check that out later here soon. Yeah, thank you. I, I actually will. Give that a good look. Uh, exposition. Explosion. Explosion. Speaking Explosion. Of Brandon, I killed him once with that. You were there for that game. Do you remember that? Everyone decided to draw a card. Everyone. And then... Five the, damage to target opponent. The dice kept an... landing on his Ooh. number and he died from like an, a lot of damage. It was so silly. Cast down. Uh, oh one of the best removal spells in Popper because... So right here it's it's printed at uncommon, but it was printed at common in uh, Dominaria, I think. You jinx yourselves by opening without uh, me. Brad, I'm sorry, babe. I'm sorry. I'll cook you dinner uh, as, a, as, a, as forgiveness. Yeah, cast down, destroy target non-legendary creature. There's really no legendaries in Popper, so this is like one of the most efficient instant speed black kill spells in Popper. Very very good. Grafted war gear. Come on. That's come, a good combo uh, piece. I every time I see color, come I'm just like, on. wait, just as well. well. Yeah, no. Court of, Court of Ire. Ire. That's not worth anything. At the beginning of your upkeep, it deals two damage to any target. If you're the monarch, it deals seven. Okay. Living in... Uh... Livio. Oh! That's worth a couple bucks. Kodama. A couple bucks. I'm not... I, I don't care about a couple bucks. I want a Lotus. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the box has paid for itself. Ooh, there's the first etched Ooh, foil. I want that. I guess, uh, see how this shows up on the camera. These etched foils are interesting. I'll gum that tit, babe, just for that card. I'll take what? out my digits. You want all etched foils, hey? I, this uh, isn't honestly, even a no, good card. I, I... Wait, this is a three mana Llanowar Elf. This has utility. This is a three mana Llanowar Elf. It's a three mana Llanowar Elf that checks for Ooh. Colossal Majesty kind of style situations. It's a good <laughs> card, and if you look at it, it's a silver, so it's good for copper. Yeah. Some, or Brando says some etched look good and some don't. This one I would say looks good. This, this one is, looks really nice. Some of them are very muted. Look at it. Even on the camera, it's like... Wah. Some of them look very muted, you know? Brady, we got three packs. Brady. <sighs> Brando, I'm holding this all on you. <laughs> yeah, Brando's not here. We can, we can, like, blame Brandon because he's not here, right? Honestly, it makes sense. The science does align. <laughs> the science does align. Yeah. Okay, let's get through the commons. Oh, preordain. That's three bucks. There you go. Um, we got ooh. Okay. Command go. tower. Command tower. You got a couple of those at least this turn. Yeah. Siren Storm Tamer is a wonderful card. It's good to abuse. That's like Faith's and fetters. Such. And oh, here Imperious we go. Perfect. <sighs> Don't make me call and break you guys on screen. <laughs> <laughs> Bio waste. Blah. Oh, it's okay. Bio waste. Blah. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, you control a commander, create a token that's a copy of it. All right, it's a good ooze card. Uh, we got Arden. Arden's a great card. Colfenor, Amorphous Axe. Colnifer. Colnifer is great. Colnifer? It's Colnifer. Colfenor. Colnifer. Colfenor. Colnifer. <laughs> Give me the fucking card. I know it's right. Give me the card. All right, yeah, we're speedrunning this. 16% left on the camera. Yeah, I'm sorry, Brandon. You don't have time to call us. <laughs> Yeah, if if we were to if you were to call, we're we'd have to put our headphones on, which means I would have to hook up the headphone amplifier. Okay. This is the last pack that doesn't have a lotus in it, right? Yeah. This is the one that doesn't have a lotus mine. in it. It better be mine. Ooh, okay, now I have my play set of Maelstrom Colossus. There you go. I like that. Commander Sphere's good. Oh god. Our Revenant. Oh, oh that is that that's a colorless oh, it's a card. It's a land. It's a land. It's a good What? Land. Command beacon. It's a good land. Okay. 
it's oh, it's probably like oh. worthless. It's a good foil cannonade. It's a good land. Huh. It's actually a very good land. Oh my god! What I happened? Dare say it's a CDH land. Well, we'll cut this next. One. <laughs> guys. Okay, the last one, the one, the, the the ground score. Everyone out there, the millions, please. Our, our, our <laughs> this is blood. the one that fell off my knee <laughs> as I was opening the box. We are but Theros gods over here. Your 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 influence. Okay, call it now. He gets the jeweled. I don't want to die of embarrassment. Neither does Brandon. <laughs> so if there's no lotus in this pack, I'm just gonna go straight to face to face's website and put one in the mail. <laughs> no, I I guess I I really I could just sell the other cards that we made money on and just turn it into a lotus. Right? I could just like transmute them. Like I could I could do I the, mean I'll uh, still fight you for that for that, <laughs> Jessica, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we've got some commons. God, I'm gonna Brandon's like no tenor. Okay, wait, wait, wait. No tenor. <laughs> think of the draft. I don't think oh it's this yeah. One. Well I'm oh. this is the Jessica's well. This is the pack that has the Jessica's There's well. There's three oh or a whole oh, breacher. hold on. Or a whole breacher? Wait, that's an artifact in the rare slot. <laughs> oh. No! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> when it deals damage to a combat engine with a player, destroy target non permanent of that player's choice. I had that in real That opponent. one of your opponent's <laughs> controls? Okay, I mean, interesting card. <laughs> Cocked by a blade grip. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Some of the coolest art in the set. <laughs> this uh, Falthus, <clears throat> some of the coolest art in the set. This Nightmare Cat, oh. Definitely one of my favorite. <sighs> All right, guys, my box was a dud. Well, actually, two of my boxes. No, I guess not a dud. I got a, I got a Vampire paid Tutor. for itself. You got a Vamp Tutor. I'm gonna fight you for the for the Jessica. We'll have a fun draft. Yeah, yeah we, we opened all the packs. We, we we mapped the box, and now we're gonna draft with the box, which will also be pretty fun, right? Like it'll be it'll be really interesting seeing what the draft turns out. Because like knowing what cards are in here doesn't doesn't really provide anybody an an advantage, right? You gotta pick <laughs> what you see. We could also use it as an advantage <clears throat> our goldfish memories. So this is fantastic. <clears throat> As if we're gonna remember everything. We're gonna remember for sure Vampire Tutor. <laughs> and, a, and for me, a Jessica. <laughs> but honestly, at the end of the day, no, we did get some good value out of it. The box paid for itself. It was a fun time. Um, we even got some new viewers, I, I, I do believe. There are some pretty cool people joining us right now in chat. Yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day at work. DNF dead. Yeah. Uh, 4.45 UK time. That's crazy. So I guess it'll be past five now. But I understand the cat issue. We have we, we have three cats in house right now. We are literally a house of cat lovers. It's a thing. Go sub to our YouTube if you haven't already. Is a message from Brando. Yeah. Hit a like <clears throat> button. Do the follow. This and more of this will be on YouTube. Also, what I really want to do is brew some decks with Brady because Brady is like the the savant of brewing decks in our group. And we've got like I've got ideas. I'm of... savvy. <laughs> I no no. It takes hey, a village for me. You know what? I'm really good. I'm voracious, but I always do best with input. So I appreciate yeah. the compliment. No, I I'm giving you a compliment, but also like I, it it definitely will be just better if we do it together. Yeah. And I I want to build a few decks on stream, some commander decks. Colfinor, please, or colon colon four. Wait, is it Colfinor? It's Colifer. It was Colfinor. No, it's Colifer. It was Colfinor. No. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I it was Colfinor. <laughs> I know my authority legends. Anyway, yeah, we just we decided we were gonna snap this off tonight. It's been freezing cold outside. It is it is absolute terror cold in Canada right now. So why not just rip some boxes open and make some content? And uh, <clears throat> yeah, if you're if you're local to this side of the world, we're gonna be at Saskatoon face to face. The tournament tour we're gonna go down there um i have no idea what we're gonna do we're just gonna bomb out there and figure it out but oh man i'm so excited though we are i am going to be the pro a proper magpie that i am and i'm going to pick out the eyeballs of those commander cookout crew i want their eyeballs in my mouth <laughs> command the draft <laughs> and make sure that you do not let anybody 12 and under play this game 
<laughs> I'm not sure if they know this, but there is a lot of tits, and that's a lot for a 12 year old. Yeah. Your homeboy Urza. <laughs> Urza says, um, Nay. Nay. <laughs> <laughs> this. So a lot of these, a lot of these side profile cards were weird. This Urza. The Urza Ooh. and the Micaeus. Yeah. Beautiful. And if you're an anime lover, we've got some of this for you. <laughs> for you Bukaki fans out there, here at the late uh, um, 10 p.m.s here in Calgary. We've got a nice Ixalan <laughs> Island. Um, yeah, we're stalling. At this point, I've got... There's 10% left on the camera. Nah, it's not that recording. Let's this yeah, we're gonna this more natural. Um, <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, yeah. everyone. You are what makes this channel worth it. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for hanging out. I, I really appreciate like hanging out, having someone to banter back and forth with was very, very nice. I'm so sorry to disappoint you guys. <laughs> hey, we got drunk for free. <laughs> yeah. On me. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, well uh we're gonna video games now. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure this camera gets on charge, and Ooh. let's uh, let's poke over into the Discord. Ooh. Uh, quick word, uh, Silent Revel, go to our uh, the Rogues Passage archives. Check out the last U. Okay, it's what? a playlist I made. Yeah, yeah. Cold of, uh, Wait, Cold the Fenor. Rogues Passage Cold archives. Cole has his own play. Uh, yeah, the Rogues Passage archives. My my uh, Spotify. On Spotify. Yeah. Okay. No, no, not our Spotify. My Spotify. It's called the Rogues Passage Archives. It's all dedicated purely to to Magic the Gathering play, playlists. Go to go find the last U. It's Colfinor's playlist. I hope you enjoy it. Cool. Go find your uh, Brady McPie review. <laughs> all right, we're uh, we're throwing random cards on the mat as a wait because because you guys are such a treasure to us, <laughs> and I love all of the Phyrexian food. <laughs> All right, we're done with this. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys later. Uh, yeah, see you in Discord. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Bye bye. <laughs>